I literally just filmed my other video and I feel like I have to sneeze. Anyways, I got an order in from C. Amy Draw, which I haven't ordered from in like a hundred years. I wish I should have perused the shop more. See if I miss anything. I feel like the Instagram algorithm really messing me up and making me miss stuff. Um, but I saw that she came out with some bluey stuff. Like bluey, bluey inspired things. And I was like, well, I know what I'm doing today. Ordering bluey stickers. My kids love bluey more than anything. Obsessed. So, you know, I had to get in on this and I am excited. <laughs> LOL. Self-care because you're worth it. And then what's her name? It's from the Emperor's New Groove, right? Is that what she's from? So cute. So basically I ordered the buy all bundle, right? And then I, cause like Bluey is like life in my house. Like Bluey is like, it's just the way that it goes. Um, and then I also, I think that this might've been like a freebie or something. Like you can pick one or maybe you bought one and then like she would letter your name on it. So I picked this one. Um, and then I bought a la carte extras of these two to put on the poison bugs. So I got dance mode and then I got this one, which I don't know what episode this is from TBH, but I'm sure if I saw it, I remember I've seen like every blue episode and blue. It's actually kind of cute. It's like one of the cuter like kids TV shows. So I did, like I said, get the buy all bundle because like I was like getting almost everything anyways. And I, when I got this, Ben, it was like, mommy, you got bluey stickers. Um, I think these are like sticker cutouts. So, oh God, these are so cute. Floss like a boss, run your own race, nailed it. Hello, well. So, can you, I don't know all of the characters' names and I'll say it wrong and then Ben, it'll be like, no, that's not Bingo. That's, it's one that looks like Bingo. I don't remember. Um, so cute. So that there's the regular ones and then these are like vinyls. So this is like on a different kind of sticker paper, run your own race. And then the ones that I bought and the floss like a boss one, which is so cute. So those are the like sticker. I'm pretty sure they're stickers, right? I feel like I'm going to ruin it. Or are they just regular die cuts? I don't know. Nope. They're stickers. Cool. So they're on like the matte paper that her stickers are on. So cute. So like I said, I got two extra of the vinyl to put on the boys stuff and then one still hoard because y'all know how I work. Then there was some regular sticker sheets. So you have the nailed it one. I don't want a life lesson with ice cream. Run your own race. I slept on my, my beans. <laughs> Time for a nana nap. Nana nap? I don't remember. Dance mode. The cone. Mm, mm, oh. the, my kid's favorite one is the heavy episode where they have like the stick and they wave it and it makes things heavy. That's our favorite one. And then also the one where they go to like the Home Depot basically and they like get paint chips and like they're free. I don't know. So then just a bunch of quotes and then also the two kits. So I think there was two kids or it's just, just one kid. I thought that there was two different ones, but also I don't know. Is this like, maybe that's it? So they're kind of like, you could probably put them together because they're the same colors, right? Yeah. So that's, I don't know, because then there's a lot of boxes. Okay. So I think these are the two different kits, right? So this is not a format that like I would normally use. I'll probably like make up some stuff to supplement and then use this in my work planner. Um, but blues are easy. So you get the eight full boxes here. So, so, so cute. Then you have like checklists, icons, highlight of my day, boxes, headers, some like cucumbers that are really big. And then Date coverage, I'll use those, some headers, some boxes, habit tracker, some deco, the bottom washi, some scripts, and more boxes and headers. So that's the first one. And then the second one has a very similar format. This is unacceptable. <gasps> it's so cute. And boxes, the cucumber slices. Same vibes, but different. This, oh yeah, this one's called Life Lessons and then this one's called Dance Mode, which is cute. So 
That is what I picked up from See Amy Draw, but they're so cute. And obviously she has like other stuff in the shop. I don't think she has much like super theme stuff. She has a lot of like doodles and scripts and maybe she does have some, some theme stuff stuff, but usually I get like scripts from her. So that is everything for this little portion of the haul. Okay, I have a lot of stuff to show y'all. I'll actually put this in my other print impression stuff. I have Aura Stella stuff, and then I have all of this stuff to haul. I actually should have a Plan of Hannah order coming, and oh my goodness, is it a big one. It was like so big that I had to like delete a couple of things because I don't think Etsy allows you to order 100 items. It's like only 99, which I've always like thought was a little bit weird. Like why wouldn't they want you to be able to order over 99 items? I don't know. No, it's still in transit. Okay. So let's go through this. I have two orders from Cress Press. I have an order from Creativity and Ink, and then I have an order from Once More With Love. Let's go ahead and crack this open first. Actually, I'll make sure my invoice is not in here. It is, okay. So I ordered the, I don't know what bundle this was, TBH, but I ordered it because why not? So this is the, hold on, I actually probably say on here, huh? The motivational bundle. So everything came in this little vellum envelope. There was a washi tape, like a real thick washi tape. TBH probably won't use this, so I'll probably give it to Bennett. There is this super cute little freebie, which I always keep these because they're adorable. A journaling card, which is so cute. My happy place that looks like Marg. So cute. Uh, the little sticky note with a little like checklist to-do list. The I tried pen, which I thought was the cutest thing in the whole world. I love this. I actually told Mark that I thought this was adorable. And it's a little, um, I'm not going to show myself. I have like the worst number to my nose and it's peeling. But it is a mirror. It has like a little um, protective thing over it, but I can't peel it off. But a little like washi card with a mirror, which I thought was a really good idea. Some sticker sheets in the rose foil and then also a sticker kit. So cute. Marg's sticker kits are on matte paper and they're kind of like a mini kit format. So you have the eight full boxes, flags, square boxes, checklists, weekly checklists, glitter headers, um, little thing type things, boxes and fancy labels, bottom washi, and the date covers with the extra box over here. So that is the kit, which is so, so cute. So that is my order from Once More With Love. And then, like I said, I do have an order from Creativity and Ink. Let's go ahead and crack this open. So I saw that she was coming out with these like park doodles that were really cute. So I went ahead and picked up a bunch of them. Here is, actually, is there an invoice? No, I think I threw it away. Here is the little journaling card, which is really cute. Like, really, really, really cute. And then there was these, like, little freebies in here. I don't know if these are stickers or just, like, uh, oh, yeah, they are. It's, like, the strangest sticker. Like, a vinyl with, like, a clear back. They kind of look like, um, like, window clings almost, but they're super cute. Of uh, Some Toy Story characters. And then I did pick up two of the Mickey emojis. So these are just like little Mickey heads with different emotions. So I picked up two of those and then I went in for these. They are a little bit bigger. I kind of thought they'd be more this size. It'd be cute if she came out with like a mini sheet, but I think I bought 10 sheets of these. I thought that they were adorable. Um, but like I said, they are kind of bigger. They're definitely more like third box size, maybe fancy label. Um, but I thought they were adorable. And it has a lot of the rides from Magic Kingdom. Super cute. I don't know why I'm showing you all, but all of them, but I ordered 10 sheets because I thought that they were really cute. And I like the colors because they're like muted and not like super in your face. So I feel like you could use these with basically any like magical spread and they would blend in perfectly. So again, that's Creativity and Ink and I will link them down below. Then let's go into Caress Press. I do have two separate orders here. So the first one that I have is just the Dragonfly bundle. And I was actually talking to Kitness Chess about this and we were like, we don't know when we're gonna use this. When will this be applicable? We do not know, but we needed them anyways. So I just bought one of each and I'll go ahead and show you in the silver. Whenever they come out in the core foils, Maggie's foil bundles, I usually 
unless I mess up, I order them in the mini because I usually have like bougie boxes or I'm going to pair them with Plan Hannah underlays. Or what I've been doing recently because Hannah mentioned it is doing bougie and underlays because can I get more extra? Yeah, let's do it. So this is the Dragonfly, I believe, foil bundle. This would actually be cute with like the camping set maybe if you like spread it out like did some confetti with it. So I get the mini if it's in the core. So you get the eight full boxes, the bottom washi, the fancy headers, headers, and the deco, and then this page here and all of them, which has the reinforcements, the um, icon, scripts, and date numbers. So usually I also do have more than eight boxes, but a lot of Maggie's designs will have confetti in them or like little stars or little twinkles. And then I'll just pull in like something like, like if I'm using a fun foil, then I'll pull in like the core that I'm using or I'll just like make it work. Um, but if it's a core foil, I'll pull in some extra confetti boxes or I'll actually just like take these and cut them and use them different. Like I'll use like maybe like two corners on one box and two corners on another box and spread them around if I wanna do it that way. But I always just make it work and it's never been a problem because usually in my spreads I use like 10, is it 10? 10 boxes and you gotta do what you gotta do. Then I placed another order and I picked up this, which I think this was discounted heavily just because the manufacturer sent her the wrong foil. So there's nothing actually wrong with it. So I was like, heck yeah, what a deal. So for this one, since it's a fun foil, I did pick up the full bundle and this is in the daisy format, which I did buy like the core foils and stuff before, but this is like a fuchsia color. So you get the eight full boxes, the headers, fancy headers, deco, and the bottom washi, the scripts, icons, reinforcements, and the date numbers, and then also the bougie boxes. So I picked up two of those. I don't know like what exactly I'm gonna use this with, but I wanted to have two, and especially on a discount, you can't go wrong. Then I just picked up three different kits because I have been using kits in my work planner and loving it. And Maggie has a kit option that comes with ombre hair checklists. So I have um, been using ombre hair checklists in my work planner. So it's just been a no brainer to order some of her kits to use as well in there. So the first one in here is Lucky Vibes, which is a St. Patrick's Day set, but I feel like you could also just use this like anytime it's spring vibes or summer vibes to me. It's like a very modern, like very Maggie vibes um, set. So love the colors in this and um, like I said, I passed on it for my main planner because I use Lucky Charm, but I thought for next year for my work planner that I could use this. Um, super cute. That's, yeah, it's like very like St. Patrick's Day where this just kind of gives me like green vibes. Um, and I ordered the 15 millimeter strip and y'all will, well, I don't know. Should I do like a flip through at the end of the year of my like work planner? Um, I'll probably do like some plan with me. So like just laying down the base and then showing like what this spread looks like in the end, but let me know in the comments down below. I also get all of Maggie's kits in the glossy. In case you're wondering, this one's Chillin' and Grillin', which was a previous mystery. I remember whenever she showed me this, like before it even came out for mystery. This is super cute. I think this would be a really uh, nice, like alternative 4th of July set as well. If you didn't want to use something like super 4th of July or red, white, and blue, or if you're just having like a picnic or anything like that. I love the neutral colors. This is, is this like a newer format or an older format? I don't know. Maybe this is newer, but yeah, I got this for my work planner. I might actually use this for 4th of July. Cause I don't like, I don't, there's actually not that many holidays that I celebrate besides like, um, like doing like little kid activities and like food. That's basically it. I can really care less. It's just usually like um, an excuse to make a specific food item. And 4th of July, I just like to grill and like eat like pasta salad. So that's that's my 4th of July. Then there's this one here, which is Legally Fabulous. 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 And I thought that this was super cute. I love the scene and just like kind of like the planner vibes of it because Legally Blonde is just so cute and just takes me back to my childhood. And I love these colors. I think they're so fun and so summer. That's actually really, really cute. That's actually, I think that's my favorite box. Yeah, I like that. Like all the luggage. So cute. This is the newer format, yeah. 
with the pattern and the solid fancy labels. Oh my God, the computer. Okay, just kidding. That's that's probably my second favorite box and I like this pattern too. So like, <laughs> like it's hard. That's so cute. And then you have the 15 millimeter strip. And then I did pick up this fashion add-on because I thought that the blonde, like legally blonde, you know, made sense. So that is everything that I got from Caress Press. And then I did get a bunch of stuff from Print Pression. Kane, let me zoom you out a little bit. So Kane is having like a Mondo sale and I have been meaning for a while now to pick up some more like A5 wide planners. He has a bunch of new designs coming out. Like maybe one that I helped with, I'm very proud of. Um, but I wanted to pick up some of these because I know that like this kind of colorway, these colorways, this you'll see aren't going to be coming in any other like vibe anytime soon. So all of his planners, I just think he's like the most extra come in a bag that like matches the planner, which I just think is so cute. But let's go through all of the um, ones that I got. So this one here, I don't know the names of a new, I'm not gonna lie. So this is like a nude planner and I've been really liking changing up my planner to match my spread. Mostly because I was doing reels, but I just feel like I'm tired right now, so I'm not doing reels, but eventually I'll get back into it. So I like doing this, and I also want to get back into taking pictures of my planner. I'm just honestly like, I'm just so lazy sometimes, but I picked up that nude color. That was a nice neutral. And then this one is a wild card. This is very Kane, because I feel like Kane loves all things like wild colored, um, like very bright this is a yellow planner. These are from the Patina collection, which is kind of like, it looks like a worn leather, which I love. And then this one here is a, like a terracotta, like, um, like a reddish brown color. And I liked it with the gold. So I picked that one up. These are all A5 wide. And then this one here is the last one from the Patina collection. And this is in the blue. I think it's like Riverside or something, or I don't remember. Maybe that was a different collection that had the blue called Riverside. Um, this one's super pretty. It kind of looks like Cinderella, if Cinderella was leather, but so pretty with the gold hardware. So that is everything from the Patina collection. I do have other, I have like previous ones that I've gotten. Um, Oh my god, I'm so excited. I recently used the like blue denim and I was obsessed and I wanted the black denim in the A5 wide and I love that it has the gold hardware and I just think the denim collection is so cool. And I recently got in a bunch of Sony Clover patches so I want to like patch this up and I think it'd be such a fun planner and I actually might use this as like my first half of the year. Um, like to keep my planner in because I think like for my 30th, like having something that kind of gives me 90s vibes um, is kind of a, a vibe. So uh, he does have the denim collection, which is the black and then the blue denim in A5 wide and B6. I think the B6 has a zipper though, right? Possibly, which is really cute for on the go. So those are all the planners I got. I also did get a precision cutter. I don't remember why I didn't have one of these. I have the tweezers, but I don't have the cutter. So this is a ceramic pen cutter. So I use this normally, which is a slice tool, but I don't even think they sell these anymore. And also mine are getting like really sad and dull. Let me zoom you in. So basically this is a like clicker cutter, right? And like, let me grab something to cut. Here we go. I don't have anything, so I'm just going to cut it like this. So you just literally, like, draw. I, I didn't slice hard enough. There. So you just cut, and then it, like, cuts perfectly. Love it. So really excited to use that. And this feels, like, nicer in your hand than the slice tool does and I like that it retracts because I'm also always afraid I think that like ceramic you can't like cut yourself with I don't want to try um let me know in the comments down below if you know um when it comes to the replacement blade I'm always worried about like leaving stuff out and the kids like they don't come in here but like what if they did 
Then I also just ordered a backup of my favorite inserts in the most bougie, beautiful paper. I was like, Kane, can you please find me the most beautiful, perfect paper? And he delivered. This paper is the most amazing, bright white, like the perfect thickness. It's not too thick. It's not too thin. And this is the um, like SPC like version, which let me show you. That was probably all over the place and blurry, but. So this is the inserts that I use. I like them because there's like no lines. It's very basic. You don't have to cover anything up. You don't have to worry about anything being in your way. And they have been my everything and I'm probably going to use these for the rest of my life because it's easy and I don't wanna have to think about it. And I love the color and the thickness. So that is my print impression order. Then last but not least, I'm trying to like roll over without unclipping my mic, but it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna unclip y'all for just a second. But I have um, some stuff from Aura Cell. Let me show you what I got. Okay, so, okay, I'm gonna reclip myself. So Tiki recently released a bunch of different new cloud totes which are beautiful. I have wanted the cloud tote for so long and when it finally came out before, I was so excited and I was hoping that Tiki would do more colors. Um, so this one here is the really, really, really pretty pink. So basically, if you don't know, the cloud tote is about the size of like a never full, but taller, like the mid size. Yeah, that's what it's about, like the size I'm thinking. Let me see. It's an A5 wide. That's pretty big. You fit a lot of stuff in here. I actually use one for my diaper bag. This is an insert, which is nice. So you can pull this out if you want, but there's like a little pocket over here. There's a water bottle holder. There is this little like clip. So you could clip keys on here or like a little wristlet. And then you have the pocket. It's super nice, very high quality. So this is the like dusty pink color. I don't know the names of them. I don't know the names of anything. This is the color that's like the Cinderella blue, which is beautiful. Wait, were there always these on the bottom? Maybe, but beautiful stuff. So that's like the light blue. And then last but not least, so this, is, this one actually is a different texture. And I will say that I prefer those textures. Let me show you the difference. Can you see the difference? I prefer pebbling. I know a lot of people actually do prefer this, but I prefer the pebble. And this is like a ivory cream color. I will say that I think that this one would probably like scuff up quite a bit if you got it like, if you're like rough and tough with it, but it is a really pretty color. If you want something that's like not white, but like gives that like effect. Um, so those are the new colors that I got. There was like 10 colors or something like totally wild um let's go ahead and look at this one so then she sent me this which is so pretty and i think that i requested a red a long time ago i was like oh be perfect for the holidays and then she was like oh yeah the red's in and i was like well, you ordered it it's so pretty so this is like the cloud um, pouch that we did in our shop but she made them in two like a wristlet you could also order chains she offers them and then you could also get them like on Amazon if you have like a specific kind of look you want to go for like pearls or like bigger chain links or something like that um, but this is so 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 pretty is this like a pen loop interesting oh and there's card pocket so I think this has even changed since the last rendition she did, I think, like black and pink before. And then this is the new one. It's red with gold hardware, which I just think is like the prettiest combo. It looks so chic and I am just obsessed. Like I said, you could either, you know, wear it as a wristlet or you could attach um, a chain on here or just like carry it as a clutch. I think it's so pretty. I love the darker red with the brighter red on the inside. I just think it's fabulous. Um, that was the only new color of the clutch. I don't know if she has any like ones from previous still in stock, but they are really, really pretty. And I think it's like the perfect size. Hold on, let me show you. This is my phone. Like you have room, you know what I'm saying? Like you could do um, 
Whenever I use this, I put my keys, I, my key has like a little like clippy, so you could put your key on this side or on that side like with this. Um, and I usually do my phone. And then I don't think the one that I have has card slots, which is, this is like nice. Um, so I could just put my cards in here, but I usually have like a little um, hand sanitizer and then a like card wallet in here. And it's like the perfect size. I don't really carry a lot of stuff. So this is great. And I kind of like keeping it minimal as far as the things I carry because then I'm not like stressing out trying to find things. Then last but not least, she sent me these a while ago. And whenever she sent me the um, the Disney ones, the magical planners and these are so so cute so these are the like leopard i don't remember what exactly they're called but they have like a leopard print on them and there was a pink and then this gray color which i'm actually sending this one to kittenish jess but these are so 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 pretty and they are clouds so cute you have the pattern throughout here i don't need this anymore okay so you have these strings, the rings, this is A5 wide. I believe that this is the bigger rings. I think that this collection came in the larger and then the regular size rings in B6 as well. I don't remember if it came in any other sizes, but definitely check out the website. I love the like cloud details in here. You have the scallops while still having some of the straight pockets. Super pretty, love it. That is the lighter color. I think it was like Black Panther and paw or meow or something like that i don't remember and then this is the darker color which definitely gives me kind of more like 90s vibes i guess they both kind of gave me the 90s vibes but like two different kind of gals it kind of reminds me of like new york minute where this is like mary kate's and then that's ashley's character do you do you guys like that movie i love that movie it's one of the movie i probably have watched that movie more than i've watched like most movies it's probably my top five as as a rewatch but love it um and that's kind of like where i started getting into planners is like i always wanted to be like i don't even remember their names it was like roxanne and oh i don't remember her name but the other one she had the planner and it was like she like timed out whenever she had to go to the bathroom which I thought was so funny but yeah that is everything from aura estelle so stinking cute that's like literally all I'm going to be able to think about now that I see these planners is New York Minute. But that is everything for this portion of the haul. So monthly plan a Hannah order. She is so thick. I think this is going to be like my new monthly order size because I have problems. So let's go ahead and get into it because as y'all know, with Plana Hannah orders. I have some kind of rhyme and reason for everything that I do. So it usually takes me a while to go through everything. Basically like 90% of these are new releases and then the other 10% I was watching Kirsten's last month haul. So not like whatever month you're watching of this, her month, but the month before. And I was like, she ordered a bunch of stuff and I was like, oh my goodness, wait, I need that too. I didn't order that whenever it came out. Um, it was a lot of the like Disney magical quote boxes. And I was like, oh, I don't need those. But then Kirsten was like reading them and I didn't really read them. And I was like, wait, I could totally use those in like normal spreads. And then the rest are things let's go through them so first things first is I think just kidding we're just going to continue separating these because otherwise I'm just going to go crazy pants they're all in like the most random order so if I could just get them together then life will be easier for me in the long run and then I'm also just like it was a freebie and what wasn't a freebie because I'm also like never totally sure okay this is really random um okay i think i thought i just heard something okay i think i have everything sorted i should have cut that out but i'm lazy when it comes to editing hauls Let's go through underlays first. So I did pick up a couple of different underlays. The first ones that I picked up were the cutlery ones. I did pick these up in gold, hollow, and silver. I have yet to use the foodie kit and I think silver would be really cool with that. So I'm gonna put one of these and then like a bougie box. And then also um, the uh, 
flavor down kit somebody mentioned using the cutlery with that and i thought that was a really cool idea so i'm going to use the flame and cutlery which i think would be really cool all together um then she also came out with shark underlays which i thought would be perfect with baby shark which literally has like honestly the largest like foil selection in that week like so much stuff that i like just didn't know like what i was going to use so i had initially bought fish but obviously sharks make more sense so I might just save the fish and do the sharks because baby shark. Um, I am using her light blue, which is very close to like mine and Maggie's light blue that we've come out with. So I think like all of them paired together will be perfect. And the core that I'm bringing in for that is silver. And then I also um, picked up these airplane underlays. I just picked up one of each. Whenever I pick up one of each, it usually just means that I'm going to use bougie boxes for the other half. Um especially when it's core, I feel like it's super easy or I plan to bring in a core foil. I don't have a kit that I plan on putting these with right now. I probably will use one whenever I use the last year's Cyber Monday mystery. Um, normally when I do travel, I, when I travel, I have like a, like a, like where I'm going specific planned, not necessarily a travel kit planned, but I figured these would be nice to have on hand in case I needed them then we're just gonna hop all over the place i got one like full box overlays and i got the slytherin which is the snake house um overlays and yeah i just thought they were really cute and i'm going to use these when i use the aloha mora kit i thought it'd be super cute and i'm going to use silver for slytherin because that's your girl then this was i should have went over the freebies first we'll go over the freebies last I think they're freebies. I don't know. Um, this was suggested by Hannah. I mentioned in a video that I had a bunch of stuff in the sidebar of my last year's planner that was just not filled in. And she suggested just buying these, I think they're called like motivational self-love something. Um, they're just like little like quotes and putting them in randomly. So I think I'm going to do that. I also might go through and like get some quote boxes like there are some quote boxes like let's say like this one like I feel like this I could totally cut out and put in the sidebar um like there's a lot of different quotes like and I have a lot of quote boxes from all different shops that have like smaller quotes like that one would probably be able to fit in like a half box um or like the hello world would fit so I'm gonna just go through and do that one day whenever I am bored uh, the next thing that I picked up is more of the uh, checklist check marks. I've been using these in my work planner and I really like them. So I picked them up in gold, silver, hollow, and then more black. That'll match like every spread. Love those. There's a ton on the sheets. I picked up some hole reinforcers. I, did, I totally forgot that I'm using one of Maggie's foil bundles, which have the hole reinforcers on it um, with the light blue. But I actually might use this because I think it'll be really, really cute, like, with the theme versus the one that comes with Maggie's. And then I also got the Gold Hollow ones for the Flavor Town kit. And I think I mentioned previously. Where'd my foil go? Oh, here. So basically, I have this album here, and I'm going to do like a little plan of Hannah. And it's going to be crazy. I have all of her new foil colors like samples she sent me and I don't know if they're all gonna fit in here I should actually put them all in um and then I have my rose gold in the back because I don't have like a ton of it um or like rose but I have all of the Planahanna colors in here so I'm gonna like make up a little stash and this is what I'm planning on using um with Flavor Town and then oh I already have the whole reinforcers oh well whatever um so I'm gonna make up like little um I don't know like sets of stuff in different colors so that whenever I want to use like a red I could just pull this out and have a bunch of basics going and then whenever I need to refill I will so um yeah I'll like stash whatever I don't use of these in with those but this was for the baby shark kit and then this is for the flavor town kit uh, speaking of random things I did also pick up the rose gold which I have nothing in like standard classic rose gold honestly Prior to this year, I hate rose. I hate rose gold. But recently, I've been very into rose because it's pink. Um, so I figured I'd pick up rose gold, which is basically, in my opinion, like a gold or copper. That's what rose gold is to me. It always just kind of takes that. So I figured, like, maybe sometime I would use this. So we have it as an option. Um, Hannah said it was quite alarming that I ordered that, but... You never know what's going to happen. I'm in love with Rose right now, so Rose Gold might 
become one of the things that I need as well. Then I picked up this. I was really hoping that she'd come out with just a regular stroke box because I feel like I could totally use like two of these in a spread and it would be like super cute. And I also, I mentioned in my last haul is I think that these like would work really well. I think like over flat lays, but you could totally like cut the corners off and do like the two sides or you could cut it in half and do a tall, cut it down the middle, do the wide. So it doesn't have to be like so foily, like if you want to split it up and then it also makes the sheet go bigger, go longer. I don't know, but I did pick up all of the fun foil colors for the stroke box just because what's well, called line, but y'all know what I mean. Um, just because like I said, I think I can use like two of these um, two of these in a spread and not like think twice about it. Sorry if you can hear Nick, I think he's doing the dishes. Um, then also in every fun foil color, I did pick up the new icons. I, I was like, please, please do, um, like a assorted icon sheet. I'll show you the one that she had before. Um, I think it's still in the shop. Like if you want to pick it up, but I like this one cause it has like all, like every icon's different. This was the one before. So I think these are a little bit smaller. I would even love like a mini icon like for little things like so I could get them in all the foils. No, I don't think that they're smaller. I think they're just like condensed closer together. But this one you can see has like a different icon and then this is like a repeating of the two. So I actually might go get these in all the foil colors too possibly because I don't think that these are on here, right? Or some of them are. So I might also get this one in all the foil colors. Honestly, Hannah's just thinking I think I'm crazy, but whatever. Um, I just, no problem. And I got two of these because I was like, for Baby Shark, I'm definitely going to use them. But I would love like a little thing size icons. Just take this, make it smaller, call it a day. Um, but again, I got them in every foil color too in this because I already have a plan to use that for a spread. Then I also did get this. So this is a script sampler, which I was also hoping for and I'm very excited about. Um... And I got it in all the foils plus the black, which the black I'm just going to put with my like regular scripts. But these are going to go like in that album. If you ever want a tour of it, like once I have it complete, let me know. Um, but these are, I guess, the most popular scripts last month or the month before. I don't know how it works. But anyways, I was excited about it because I would love a little script sampler because, sorry about that because obviously I can use black with everything but it's fun to be able to just pull in some things in foil just to add extra shine so again all of the foils and then we'll go into this massive stack of quote boxes which I need to get more into like putting quote boxes anywhere and everywhere um there are so many different ones in here so let me go ahead and just sort them so there is like Taylor Swift ones. There is magical ones. Um, I got a lot of like duplicates of the magical ones because I was like low key crying watching Kirsten's haul because she read the one and I was like, no joke, like literally just sitting on the couch crying my eyes out for no reason. Well, for a reason, but we'll go into that. So I skipped like all of the magical quotes before because I was like, I don't have a kit specifically planned for these. But then I got emotional and I added them all to my cart. And that was before the new releases dropped and I had like a cart of like 20 things already. So let's go over these. First is the Pirates um, overlays. Obviously going to use this with the Captain Jack kit. I think for that one, I'm going to use, I wanted to use matte bronze, but now, like, I really wanted to use these quote overlays. So, I'm, I don't know. I might either do, like, the black underlays of the pirate chips, but also, like, I could order the silver ones. But also, it's getting a little excessive with how many pirate over, or, like, map, pirate map, I don't know, underlays I have. But I'm going to use the other pirate underlays. I think I didn't even mention this in the, in the new release. Maybe yeah, I did. I don't know. I'm just confused. The gold ones I got initially for the Captain Jack kit, I'm going to use with the Goonies kit because I'm going to use gold with that. It also would look good in that bronze. But then I was like, oh, I want to use the black ones with Captain Jack. But then I saw these and I'm like, I don't use black 
quote boxes. So bought silver. Do I want to use silver foil with it? Do I want to use matte bronze with it? I don't know. I don't know. So we're going to think about that, but really excited about those. And then Taylor Swift. Was there other Taylor Swift? Oh, I think. Was there a three? Did I not buy the three? What did I do? I don't know. Was there a three? Or is this a three? That's a three. It's just the font. Okay. So basically, I do really like Taylor Swift. Like, especially like new Taylor Swift and old Taylor Swift, not middle Taylor Swift. But um, I wanted to pick these up because Taylor Swift quotes can be good for any time. TBH. I mean, some of them like don't really care about like shake it off. No. But the rest of them, a lot of them, yeah. And like the old ones and the new ones. You know what I mean? Y'all know what I mean. Then I picked up the baby ones and I was thinking about maybe going back and putting some of these on like weeks that had to do with like Lila like last year and then also using them this year for her first birthday and then also um some of these I feel like I could even use for like the other kids too because like they're always they're all gonna be my babies so love that love baby quotes emotional then I got the remembrance ones which are just kind of sad I hope nobody dies and I have to use these but if it happens I have them in silver I don't know why I even go why uh why silver I don't know then I got the emo kid ones because like obviously I needed them uh she asked on um Facebook for recommendations for emo quotes and in the day emo kid at heart here I was all about it still all about it that's most of the music that I listen to is my old emo music or like 90s music and then like today today like Justin Bieber and like Cardi B and Post Malone but and Taylor Swift but I was obsessed with all of these there's a couple that I don't know but most of them I do know so I did pick up one three four five and six just in a random color because I don't have like a specific kit I'm going to use these for but I figured I could just kind of like pick one so a lot of these are kind of a little bit more specific but then like a lot of them you could use anytime like I'm fairly local I've been around I don't really know when I would use that in like a spread um but like um I mean like use a yellow card quote and like anything I don't know um I left the best of me in 2003 I don't know when I would use it but like I don't know I'm gonna find it find a spot for any of these thanks for the memories oh my god fallout boy fallout boy was like one of my first loves right after My Chemical Romance. My Chemical Romance was like my first everything. Um, work sucks, I know, lol. But see, like, you could use that like if you're just getting like annoyed with work. So those are those. And then Emo Kid 2 was a list that I put together. I was like, I'm gonna give her eight and hope for the best. And they're all my favorite like emo love quotes. So you have, I feel like a hero and you're my heroine, which is from Boys Like Girls, which is my wedding song, Hero Heroine. Such a good song, I love that song. And then, but darling, you are my only exception. So Paramore, I should be over all the butterflies, but I'm into you also Paramore because I love Paramore. Um, I do it all again for you, We the Kings. You are my song and you are where I wanna be, which is The Dangerous Summer, which is probably my favorite band ever I think as far as like I listen to them all the time now and I think that they still slap super hard and then now there's no place I'd rather oh, now there's no place else I could be but here in your arms so hello goodbye which honestly listen to hello goodbye now I don't think it's that good but uh hands down this is the best day I can ever remember uh dashboard confessional that's on my um my freebie and then you are my only one so that's also yellow card so I did just pick up these in a bunch because honestly these are all like my favorite like lovey emo quotes so I'm not mad about it and I think this is the most amazing sheet ever and then I picked up a bunch of the magical um situations because mostly what happened here is Kirsten hauled this one and I was like I'm, I'm not even not even exaggerating I was literally crying crying on my couch watching a haul about stickers because this the greatest gift and honor is having you for a daughter and oh my god 
Like, stop, stop, stop. Why do I think that's the cutest thing in the whole world? Honestly, never got emotional before, like, previously. But, like, now that I have my daughter, I'm like, why did it? Um, I'm literally sitting here with tears in my eyes. I need some water. I also just got my period today. So, like, I didn't get my period when I was watching the hollow. But, like, God, it makes me emotional. So, I got, like, so many of them because I was, like, I don't even know. Like, I didn't even need to read the rest of it. I was just like, I just want a lot of this box. It's just so freaking cute. Obviously, it's a Mulan quote, but like, God, like, why are you doing this to me? Then I picked up the Alice. Well, actually, well, let's go through the other first. So I picked up the Jumbo ones because I was, I went through them and I was like, all right, let me read all of these because like, maybe I need other ones, right? So I was looking at this one and I was like, embrace what makes you different. Some days deserve an extra dose of cute. You just, uh, don't just fly sore. You ought to be proud. You're a success. Nothing stops him. He'll get through. Like this reminds me so much of Bennett and I just thought it was so, so, so cute. Rest your head close to my heart. Never be a part baby of mine. Like this one reminded me of Bennett and then I was crying over this when I was shopping. And then this one, um, so this one I did buy previously to use for in Theo's birthday spread, the Winnie the Pooh quotes, cause they always just remind me of him. And then I was like, when I was reading them, when I was hauling them, I was like, I need to buy more because these are all so perfect for Theo. So I'm over here just having magical cries all the time. And then I saw this one here, which Kirsten said that this was like a good quote, like for other stuff. Like obviously like a lot of them are very specific, but best day ever. I thought it'd be nice to have kind of just, it kind of goes along. This is my freebie. If you use, um, what is it? Uh, is it SPC 15? I don't know. I'll link it down below. Um, you get, this is usually a sticker here. I already used it. Um, you get this freebie and it says hands down this is the best day I can ever remember and I picked that one out of all of the emo quotes because I feel like that's like something that you can use like when it's the best day ever and that kind of kind of like goes along with that also and then last but not least as far as things that I purchased is the Alice ones because I thought these were very me like this kind of is me so sometimes I believe as many as six impossible things before breakfast so yeah and what an idea a crazy mad wonderful idea off with their heads you're almost alice it's it is far better to be a be feared than loved i also can't read did you ever know that i'm not crazy my reality is just different than yours have i gone mad and you're entirely bonkers but i'll tell you a secret all the best people are and i just thought that that was very like me energy so i bought those in the three foils there and then i think that these were all freebies so this is my freebie i asked her if she had any fun foils to throw them in since she sent me the other ones before this is in like a gold dotted situation gold sequin this was the regular order freebie so this says darling look how much you've grown which i also really like i might actually put this in the birthday because i think that'd be really cute on like lila's like fifth birthday or something like that whatever birthday is like a little bit older and i use a hollow foil this i bought um but i have an extra which is perfect maybe i bought two of those or maybe one was a freebie i don't know and then there's this here which is like a hollow shattered of the um i don't think i bought this like any of this colored stuff. There's like a shattered hollow icon sampler, so I'll definitely just put that in there. And then there's a hollow scratch, which Hannah has been obsessed with scratch. And then also the like shattered princess crowns, which I totally will. I'll probably just like put these together so that whenever I can use them, I'll use them together. So that, my friends, is everything from Planning Hannah. Like 21 minutes of a haul, what the heck, but this is gonna be a monthly thing now. I for sure know it and I'm not mad about it, so. Let me know if this made you want to go buy anything, and if so, what. But, yeah, there's a lot, and I'm excited to put it all away, not going to lie. Okay, so this is the final portion of my haul. It is only the 25th, so, like, maybe I have more stuff coming, but honestly, it's been, like, a really slow mail month for me when it comes to stickers. I've been, like, crazy wax buying. So if you want to see that, I did just put up an hour haul and then in all, I think almost all of my um, like melting baskets, I also have hauls, but I've just been super into that. But let's go through these few, these couple orders that I have. So this is an order from Once More With Love and I'm so happy that I got this because, well, I wish I would got it like two days before, but I just did my Bridgerton um, spreads so that is already up on the YouTube, but I'll show you 
what that looks like. I made myself custom Bridgerton scripts and then I just used three different characters because I only watched the show on three days. So I wanted to use the Once More Love characters for that so I had left those blank. So this is the sheet here. I think she also re-released the like first season sheet um, but I just picked up the You Vex Me which is like the Viscount type sheet there and I could obviously use those in future seasons as well or just for like other like cute things um also the freebie here is super cute as well I've been trying to actually like use my freebies so this one has um a watermelon which Bennett loves watermelon a little like stand mixer a calendar a no spend and like just like a little kissing with a little booty which is adorable so I'm gonna just put that over here I do, maybe I want to film a desk tour. I'm going between back and forth. I mean, y'all, I'll figure it out before you see this. But here is a journaling card. Um, but I'm like, should I film a desk tour or should I just do a plan with me? Which would be better use of my time. And I'm like, I kind of want to do a desk tour though because I feel like that would be something interesting for this week and faster probably to film and less brain power. So I might do it. Um, and then I did get this, which is the Bunny Activity Sample. I thought I got more than one of these, but maybe not because it is like duplicate rows. But I love using the Paper Shire Bunnies to mark Lila things. So I thought I could put this with Lila's stuff as well. And it'd be just more like Lila type things being all bunnies and cute. So that's everything that I picked up from Once More Love. I think she recently had releases. And I'm probably going to need to go pick some of those up as well. So I also picked up some stuff from Letters to Apollo, which I feel like I haven't shopped with in a while, but she had a magical themed, um, magical themed release. So I had to pick it up. Um, there was a bunch of stuff that I was like, wow, I need. And I pick up all of her stuff in hollow, silver, and gold. And then I think I also picked up some in black. So... Okay, maybe, yes, Disneyland, Disney World, okay. So this was like some scripts and then some like icon type things. So these are the like Disneyland sign um, and then the Disney World like kind of logo. So this is like a park label and I thought these were really cute. When will I use them? I don't know. They'd be really cute maybe in the sidebar. So love these and Letters to Apollo's foiling is always perfect. And this was like a part of a $2 Tuesday. And this is the park divider. So this is Disney World. So you have the four different parks on there, which I thought was really cute. And we mostly go to Disney World anyways. So I really do want to go to Disneyland. And I'm like, I want to go this year. And I'm thinking maybe like doing just a me and Bennett trip. I think that'd be fun. And like Theo and Lila obviously are at the age where they don't care slash no. So I was like, maybe I'll do that. As something fun to do with him before like the other kids are old enough to care but and Disneyland like please then I got the snacks um I thought, again this was cute we don't really eat a lot of snacks at Disney but um Bennett did get a ice cream bar but I thought those would be cute to have just for forever and then I also did pick up these and I picked up I think I don't know what my thought process was here I have two in hollow two in gold, okay, two in silver, and then three in black. So I'll show you the black one, but they did come in foils as well. So you have this in like a really, really pretty font. It, it And I think that this would look really cute with um, my like park, like little thing size labels because it has the like, is it serif or sans serif? Whichever one has the like lines on them. Um, fonts, I think it would match really well. So this is, I'm going to Disneyland or I'm going to Disney World. And then you have Epcot, Animal Kingdom, Magic Kingdom, and Hollywood Studios. Kind of wish that there was like, um, what the heck's it called? It's another park at Disneyland. I'm like losing my mind. California Adventure. But I mean, because I go to Disney World all the time, like it works. So that is everything for this haul. I hope that y'all liked it. I hope next month is a little bit bigger. Though my plan of Hannah is always like 25 minutes on its own. Um, but if you're in a holly mood, definitely check out my wax hauls because I go in on those. So hope y'all like this video and I'll talk to you in my next one. Bye.